Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to St John's Preschool Online. It's so great that you've joined us this morning. We're going to learn about a new Bible character this morning, but before we do that, we're going to sing a family worship song. We're going to sing Shine Together this morning. Before we do that, why don't we pray? Lord, thank you for this new day. Thank you that you are with us and you love us. Please be with us now by your Holy Spirit. Amen. So why don't we go and sing Shine Together now? Shine Woo! from the inside out For the world to see you live in me Shine Woo! from the inside out For the world to see you live in me Cause you know me, you love me thank you that we get to worship you with singing and dancing. Please be with us for the rest of our time together. Amen. Well, we're going to learn now about another character in the Bible and her name is Esther. Maybe you know someone called Esther. Now Esther was a queen and she was Jewish as well, but she was a queen in a different land called Persia and her husband was King Xerxes. We're going to learn a little bit more about her now and an amazing thing that she did. So let's go over and watch the video together. There once was a woman named Esther who was a queen in a far off land called Persia. But Esther was Jewish and God had a plan for her life in this land. Queen Esther heard of a terrible plan that an evil man named Haman had formed against her people. But Queen Esther was very brave, and she risked her own life for her people when she realized what was at stake. Esther chose to speak up for what she believed in, and even though she was very scared, she went to meet the king while he was with Haman and said, If I have found favor with the king, and if it pleases the king to grant my request, I ask that my life and the lives of my people be spared. The king was shocked that someone would try to hurt his queen, and he said, Who would do such a thing to you? Queen Esther said, The wicked Haman is our enemy. Haman grew pale with fright, for his plot had been discovered. The king jumped to his feet in anger, and Haman was sent to be executed. The king sent a decree across the land, and the Jewish people rose up to defeat anyone who tried to harm them. Wherever the king's decree was read, the Jews rejoiced and had a great celebration. 
To this day, the Jews celebrate this holiday of Purim every year, remembering the bravery of Queen Esther and the power of God. Wow, what an amazing story. Esther was so brave in that situation. She went to the king and she helped the Jewish people survive um, being killed, which is a really scary thing. She did something so brave and God helped her do that. Maybe there's times in our lives where we have to be brave too. That means we have to push through things even if we're afraid or worried of what might happen. There are lots of things that we might have to be brave in. Maybe it's when you're playing a game and you're a little bit worried about what to do next and you've got to be brave in that situation. Or maybe it's going to the doctor and getting help from the doctor but you're a bit scared. Or maybe even the dentist. Sometimes I have to be really brave at the dentist. Or maybe you see something that is not quite right. Maybe one of your friends is getting picked on and you have to help them. And that can be a really brave thing to do. Or even it could be something like being afraid of the dark. That's something I was scared of when I was younger. And God helped me not be afraid of the dark anymore and helped me be brave at night time. Whatever it is, God can help you be brave and have courage in any situation. We're going to have a craft now, which is going to be making crowns, just like Queen Esther's. And I really hope you have fun doing that. I hope you all have a wonderful week at school and I will see you again next week. Bye everyone.